Welcome back to the Brew Crew Podcast, everyone. This is episode 142. 142. And if you woke up this morning and checked the MLB standings like I did, both Chicago teams are in first place. Crazy. Both. On Memorial Day. Wh- which or, is... you know, after. Which is weird, too, because Milwaukee's on a five-game winning streak right now, too. And yeah. They're, this, this, and they're a game, at, game and a half behind. I mean, everyone's talking about the NL uh, West because they all have, like, 30 wins. But I think the Central is as competitive as it's ever been. I don't know where those 30 wins are coming from. That's the thing about, like, the Giants and the Padres and the Dodgers. Are they just beating up on the Rockies all day or what? So is that their, like, punching clown, excuse me, like, is the Rockies and ours is the Pirates? Yeah, ours is the Pirates. Because, and the weird thing, and I was talking about this, so uh, mole people, it was just Memorial Day, so extended weekend. My in-laws were in town, so I was talking with my father-in-law, and we we made a baseball bet. Mm Mm-hmm. Travis Shaw, mm-hmm. uh, he needs to hit 216 or better for me to get a bottle of booze. And if he okay. hits 214 or worse, my father in law gets a bottle of booze. And if he hits 215 exactly, he's hitting 196 right now. Mm-hmm. If he hits 215 exactly, we exchange, exchange. bottles. That's a good, that's good. Um, because he I hates him, I like him. Yeah. But back to, back to the uh, impetus of this branch, if you will, hitting is down immensely. It is down. Across the board. Yeah, it's, it's the pitching has been dominating this year. Six no-hitters. Seven if you count uh, um, the Giants guy. So, so, uh, so With the half game. Yeah, with the half game. So everything right now is predicated, and correct me if I'm wrong, on strikeouts and home runs. That's all it is. Yes. And they and teams will deal with in between. Yeah, small ball stuff's not really happening. No. Um, almost, almost not at all. Did you do you lend any credence to the fact that MLB is exploring moving the mound back? I don't personally like that, but I would have to not like it because I also don't like the changing of the baseball, which they have not admitted to. Right, but it Why changes the game. It changes the game. So, um, like uh, Pete Alonso, for example, Pete Alonso exploded onto the scene because yep. he was hitting home runs. Uh, the ball was flying out more. Um, how many of those home runs would have been pop flies for outs if the ball was the same? And how many will be pop flies for outs if they change the ball? If they already have, I don't know. Um, I wonder if MLB keeps like an archive of balls for each year. I'm sure they do. Not the for the public consumption. Have a bunch, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not 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 ones that have been gained or gimmicked or whatever oh, just like, like that. Fresh. But, but just like a fresh. Hmm. It'd be interesting, like if you could go by and touch it, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. if they if they kept it so like not so you could grab it, but just touch it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good you idea. You know, like a firmness and do it yeah. side by side. Yeah, maybe that's something. You know, we're we're young and youthful. Maybe that's something we should start doing. Just, just grabbing a ball balls. each year. But you that's never a good know, idea, actually. You never know where it is in like their inventory. Like, oh fuck, I got a 2018 ball. Like, are they dated? I. Uh, I would guess. I thought about this the other day. Yeah. That, like, maybe the... Because the Cubs played the Padres, and there was five home runs hit by the Cubs, but at the same time, pitching across the league has been insane. So I'm thinking maybe they mixed a bunch of last year's baseballs, or 2019 baseballs, Yeah. with this new sticky ball that everyone's talking about, how it's, like, curving more. Yeah. So maybe there's, like, a mixture, and it's selected at random by the ball boy or whatever. So they don't actually know which is which. And the outcome of the at bat is largely up to randomness, but the ball, I think, I think yes. The answer is I think yes. So the the impetus for pitching being better this year is there's more grip on the ball, so they're able to get. That's more That's what rev. I'm hearing. It's interesting. So like there's my, another theory that we talk about. Like my my father in law, like when he was talking about moving it back, like and he goes, you would kill pitchers. But like yeah. breaking ball pitchers, like oh you yeah, know, like when their stuff breaks, oh, it's like so that's, perfect. that's so it's so yeah, perfect. It's you that, move it yeah. back, you're screwing even up. even five feet, you're burning arms out. Where it, five it, inches? No, five feet. They're gonna move it back five feet. Well, like just what what's that's an arbitrary so line? Like five inches, I don't think. Makes I think it. one foot fucks you up. Oh yeah, I mean we're talking about a breaking ball is gonna hit the dirt right at the plate. Yeah, right, right at the back of the plate, and that's what's. So you're talking about moving it to to fall in the middle of the plate. That's a ball. It's not even going to yeah. go through the strike zone at that point. So it it just you know I've I've been trying to really like watch a lot of games. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and it's nice having uh, the MLB TV and yeah. being able to. But man, they are just. It's nice watching with somebody so you can conversate. Yeah, yeah. But 100%. what what a terrible for you know all the chugalos that play the dollar game. What a terrible. Like you're watching some of these games and there's like five hits. You yeah. Know, with shifts and everything like oh, that. Oh, shifts. Like, yeah. Keeping people involved. Shifts so, are killing some of the better players in the league. So, anyways, I know they're trying to address that. Uh, Rob Rob Manfred, for the best part it, uh, of his size, uh, is, is a clown. But um, mm-hmm. what commissioner wouldn't be? Oh yeah, like you know, um, uh, goofball Roger Goodell. You know, mm-hmm. playing for life and all that stuff. Yeah, hey, right you know, if you can get it, and he was a lawyer, so I don't know what Rob Manfred did before he probably uh, law before he was. Uh, so, anyways, yes, um, awesome stuff, and always a good backdrop to have drinks. So that's yeah. you know ba- baseball, I mean, is beer and baseball, beer and baseball. Together. It's it's one and the same. So I got a piece of news. Yeah, hit us. We all know that drinking Bush is awesome. We in, uh, we endorsed it on this podcast without getting paid. Yeah, uh, we did for many weeks. We should, and we've talked about bringing back the Bush ads. We will, um, but it's good for other things too, like crime fighting. Crime fi- Oh, crime I, fighting. This is incredible. In uh, 1990, yeah. 68-year-old Leo Beauregard was murdered uh, by Mark Stephen Gribben, 57. It's always three names. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, it's like a rule. Like, if you kill I somebody do that in a nefarious like way. If I ever kill somebody, which I won't, because yeah. I'm not a murderer. But I hope they don't use, like, my... I, I don't go by that. I wonder if this guy does. Um, police found Beauregard's body in a chair with a deep stab wound in his neck. And then uh, they also found a beer can on the table next to his body. However, the table had blood on it. The beer can was set on top of a splotch of blood. So they knew since 1990 that the beer can had been set down after the murder. Interesting. Because of how it was placed and didn't have blood on it. Well, they recently ran DNA over the mouth of the can. This is Bush we're talking about. Got him. Got the guy. Got him now. A- after, yep, all these years. I'm wondering if that's like a 23andMe situation where they're, you know, yeah. even if you didn't submit, like, let's say, you know, uh, uh, John's name, uh, three three name is uh, John Adolph Denver. Um, yeah, I don't know why so they would true. name you. Um, Two thirds okay. true. I don't know why they would name you John Denver. but um, This is what they wanted. So, so anyways, you've killed somebody. Mm-hmm. You're never going to submit one of your no. samples. Yeah. But the problem is your sister, Chuggalo Nicole, she submits. She and then submits. they're like, oh, my God, this killer is mm-hmm. one person removed. Yeah. And then they start looking. Because they can look in those databases. Well, when did DNA become a thing? It's always been a thing. Like, it didn't... They, well, yeah, DNA's always been around. But uh, when did they start testing it for trials? It didn't... It, it, the OJ trial wasn't even... Um, admittable or admissible, right? Yeah, because of uh, tampering, though. Oh, but it was right around there. It let was you, right around there. So, say, 1990 predates DNA testing in court, probably. Yeah. So let's just say the 90s, somewhere yeah, in the 90s. 90s. So uh, my guess is that they swabbed him at the time. Yeah. Um, but maybe like the extraction methods for the can weren't weren't good enough until now. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. Um, but I know there's a limited amount. I did watch the OJ versus the world or whatever that thing was. Yeah. Very good um, with Cuba Gooding Jr. And I think there's like, they have the DNA mm-hmm. and there's or the sample and there's a certain amount of, of tries you get before it's completely gone. Yeah. You know, maybe however much DNA you've extracted. Um, I would guess maybe they just sat on it for a while. I don't know, but it was a cold case. I, well, I'm going to guess and, like... Uh, uh, with, oh, you know what? If it's a cold case, they wouldn't have swabbed him. Like with the California killer, um, D'Angelo, the reason why they got him is his cousin submitted it, and then they tracked mm. it down. So that that had been a cold case for 40 years or whatever, and they had they had the his DNA at the scene, but they couldn't substantiate it mm. until they found a relative. So that's how they got. I think he was the Golden State or the California. There's so many yeah. serial killers, and I come from a state that's rich with serial killers. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, that, so yeah, that's crazy. But anyways, how sadistic are you that you kill somebody and then crack a beer? Pretty sadistic. I'm, Apparently, I'm, I'm I was reading a little bit more while you were talking, and uh, he was already a criminal. He had he had been released from prison that year. Okay. Then committed the murder, 
and then yeah, they they uh, was living living a, was just with living, a secret. Yeah, living with a secret. Interesting. But, so he uh, he's pretty sadistic. She drank a beer, a bush. Wow. Probably just the regular bush though, because murderers don't choose bush light. Yeah, you know you're not you're not worried about the uh, the calories yeah. and the, if the filling there. You'll get you'll get your exercise in prison. Um, did you see? Uh, because we've talked about this, so I know you've seen it. So it's a loaded question. Mm-hmm. Did you see the absolute spike in viewership that we had? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna bring that up. What? It's what, amazing. We're at like seventy eight. Over seventy eight. So typically, you know, behind the scene, or you, you mm-hmm. guys can all see it. So YouTube is killing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So since we start, we we made the decision that we're gonna do videos unedited, whatever raw, mm-hmm. and uh, that episode. Whoa. I don't know if it was Stev. I don't know if uh, Chuckle Jason told people or whatever, but it's a know. complete spike. I know, and I told you I was three of them because I was like, I was looking, you know, yeah. just one because we had a uh, uh, technical error. Yeah. Uh, uploading it, so I was like, I just wanted to make sure that it was a good copy of it or whatever. So I know I was three of them, but three doesn't substantiate the 400% increase. No, yeah, huge viewership. increase. And it was all within the first you know, week. Yeah. Uh, usually we get to about 40 yeah. loyal listeners by a few weeks, a yeah. few weeks in. Nope, all in the first week. That, so if you're, if you're a new listener joining us, maybe the algorithm... Th- that's what it is. I, I thought maybe YouTube is like, okay, if it's not viral, which none of our videos are... No. Um, once you put in the work and you prove that you're going to be a YouTube entity, yeah. we'll start pushing your video out. Maybe the algorithm hit. Yeah, like Chuggalo Jacob came back. Yeah. Um, so we had a long time. S- some awesome interaction with Chuggalo yeah. Jacob. Um, I, I know Chuggalo Mom was still there. Um, yep. She posted stuff. Uh, so even if you're sharing it or whatever, whatever you're doing, Chuggalos, apparently we just uh, had a magic moment. It could have been Stev, Chuggalos, Could have been. Could have been Uncle um, his, Mark. His uh, s- soft-spoken um, sultriness that mm-hmm. he brought to the... But either way, very cool. Yeah. And um, if you're new to the show, thanks. Stick around. Stick around. Uh, it'll pay off uh, dividends. It so, will. So one thing over this extended weekend, um, I built a I built a bar. It's sitting right next oh, to yeah, you. Oh, yeah. I was wondering what that was. So that was um, I took the... I stripped down... I had these uh, four by six cedar beams that were in my... Uh, mm-hmm. um, living room so i uh we ripped them down i say we i was about 10 percent of the effort my father-in-law was about 90 percent of it we ripped them down uh two of them and we made planks and we have a bar eventually it'll get up i'm just waiting for the legs to be shipped mm-hmm. um so we went down to uh so you go to arrow air wine down in centerville right uh oakwood oh okay so not as good of a story so i went to air wine there mm. um but right next to it, the real reason I went was an antique store oh, because okay. yeah. Dayton Reclamation moved there. Mm. And Dayton Reclamation has all of this crazy old stuff. And we are in the church room bar. Yes. Uh, so, again, I wanted to keep it churchy and, you know, so cedar stained again. I will show this off. But uh, the reason why I bring it up is at the... Uh, antique store, which is a massive old grocery store. Mm-hmm. They have all these booths, and I went to like an old beer booth, and they have amazing um, pull uh, uh, handles. Got, oh, really? Um, what's the name? Yeah, the tap handles. Ta- tap handles. So they had a bunch of you know they had a bunch of old metal trays like my Schlitzes or whatever. Yeah. So I think um, when when you get uh, the John Denver bar open, mm-hmm. uh, name pending probably. Name definitely pending. Um, well, you know it's up for debate. <laughs> um, that that would be a place to go, and everything is very reasonably priced. Oh yeah, I need to go there. Very reasonably, right. like a metal tray or whatever, like my yeah. Schlitz or whatever. They're selling that stuff for like ten dollars. Okay. Um, tappers, um, you know. No, nothing like jumped out at me because I would have bought like a PBR or Schlitz one. Yeah. They're more modern, mm. but they have um, amazing, uh, you know, 40, 50 year old beer wow. artwork and stuff oh, like that. Sweet. All very reasonably. Like my father in law and I just walked around there. It was awesome. Yeah. I love antiquing. It's a it's a weird thing, yeah, it's but fun. No, uh, it's fun. The, their beer selection memorabilia, older stuff was awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Like stuff, awesome. like stuff that we would always see at Ale Fest, which yeah. brings me into my next point. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. No, this year. Uh, son of a gun. Does it? It might, <clears throat> and this might be a business opportunity I should have brought up before. Hmm. 
might not ever happen again. No way. Well, we should do our own ale fest. The Brew Crew Fest. I, uh, um, potentially it's going to be up for, uh, potentially going to be up for sale. We'll see. Maybe. All right. Well. But, uh, so that's, that's, that was my weekend news, you know, just old beer memorabilia. I'm kind of out of space. I have to redo mm-hmm. some of this room, but because I have more I want to put up. But when you get your bar open, I yeah. highly recommend going oh, yeah, there, I'll if go that, there if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I want stuff like that for sure. Yeah. Um. I don't know how antique I want to make it. Um, more but, sports bar, like I said, but yeah, they, that stuff fits. They, they have they have other stuff. It just happens to be at an antique shop. Yeah. Okay, like pitchers and uh, obviously beer glasses, like yeah, and sets of beer glasses. That kind of stuff would be cool. The the, the problem with, I have with beer glasses, my relationship, I have too many of them. Mm-hmm. So like I've slowly like taken some up to the cabin and taken some to the office and you know just try yep. to disperse them because there's only so much room. Yep. And beer glass is what everyone goes for. Yeah. It's t-shirts and beer glasses. Yeah. T-shirts. How t-shirts many, are the best. How many beer glasses do you need? You know. Right. Not I. I have. A, I need some, but I don't ha- um, need a lot. Right. I think I lost the box in the most recent move because I it, had beer glasses. It was a block but away. No, I can't. No, I can't find them. Really? Yeah. Weird. But anyway, let's get to you. You good on uh, on? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that was just you know uh, nothing really for uh, craft beer news. Um, there's a lot. I know you brought it up. A lot of a lot more impetus in uh, getting women and being aware of women yeah. in the craft space that um, you and Chuggalo Stev were talking about last week. And I'm seeing a lot more of that this week. There's, so. Yeah, there's a lot a lot of that on social media, especially. Um, I think on Reddit there was uh, something about women. In the brewing industry, talking about the challenges they faced. Right. So, have, have you noticed on social out. media that I'm trying to hide our our the Brew Crew podcast on our personal pages? It's it's like every third ad, and I oh, try I to know, hide yeah. it. And it's it's like the algorithm. I trip the algorithm. Now it comes up every to like, remind third. you to like boost it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get that too. I I would pay. It's like you're the only one seeing this, but please. I would, pay us money. I would pay so much money to get rid of to that. To get rid of Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the first beer we have up here is Street Side. Street Side. This is uh, Beach Side. Street Side Breweries Beach Side Key Lime Pie Milkshake IPA. So I've I've trashed a lot of uh, milkshake IPAs. Not sure how I like this one, but I love Key Lime, and we've had some good Key Lime stuff on this podcast. We had uh, what you and Cobra liked the. Uh, salted key lime, right? Yeah, was that the one where you could actually taste the crust, not just the filling? Uh, I don't think that was that one. That one, the, the one that you're talking about, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. But um, we've had a few, and I think we've generally all liked them. Um, I did not like the salted one. I remember that was, God, what was that called? Um, I don't remember. But uh, it doesn't matter. This one, it's a milkshake IPA, so I'm expecting maybe like a creamy key lime. Uh, but IPA, which was what drew me to it. Uh, it's got, it's a hop, it's going to be hoppy. So let's crack this open. You can get a taste and I'll start talking about it. Three, two, one. I'm, uh, elated that this is an IPA. Yeah. Because if we would, the, the times, there is something interesting. Yeah, the times right. we have had a key lime pie, it's wrecked the palate. That's. Yeah. It's, so as an IPA. I'm glad because we can have this first or second because I yeah. think we've had some key lime beers first and it's influenced the second beer. Yep. All right. So Streetside Brewery, they're an Ohio brewery out of uh, I've already forgotten. It's uh up by it's up by uh, um, Cincinnati, Cleveland. I thought right. No. Uh, crafted in Cincinnati by Streetside. So brewery. not even close. What an idiot. Um, this is in collaboration with. Hoppin' Vines, Beer, Wine, Duck Pin Bowling. You know what Duck Pin Bowling is? I should look that up. Yeah, it's a, it's a smaller game, right? It's, it's a, a small one? Yeah. All right, like in uh, in that oil movie, There Will Be Blood. I'm looking up the key lime pie. Yeah, so I had uh, tall grass key lime. Tall grass is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I need more of them in my life. Yeah, there was one um, that was very controversial. The s- Distill? No, not that one. That's Tam Tot's beer. That's Tam Tot's beer. Oh, she gave it. She gave that to me at King's Table. 
That was oh, okay. one she bought me. I've had a, a Key Lime Matt King's table before. All right, Streetside Brewery. Am I over 21? Yes, I am. Graders. That's the one. The, I remember that one. That was not controversial. Can't tell if it's creamy Key Lime Pie or Margarita. What was the first one you said? Uh, tall Grass. Tall Grass. What was that one called? Is that Sea Quench? No, Sea Quench is Dogfish Head. Yeah. And sea Quench is uh, a salted um, lime. So sweet Sea Quench is a uh, Dogfish Head. Yeah, Dogfish Head. It was lime something. Maybe not Key Lime. But I remember you and Cobra liked it. Yeah. I did not. So, so that's a fruited goes. Yeah, it goes. All right. There was a key lime goes there. I did not buy it. Um, all right. Street side. Let's see what uh, let's see what they're all about. Their website, it's fine. We've talked about some good websites. This one, it's all right. Let's see their story. I think Castle Danger liked our pod. I know Crooked Handle does. A lot, because a lot have. A lot yeah. of the breweries have. And thank you, breweries, if you're still listening. Um, the, here's what they say. In November of 1788, this is real OG, the yeah. intersection of a dream and a pioneering spirit ignited Benjamin Stites and 26 others to found the settlement of Columbia along the banks of the, of, of the Ohio near the Little Miami River, now known as Columbia Tusculum. Streetside Brewery is proud to be rooted in Cincinnati's oldest neighborhood. Well, there you go. That's Streetside. With uh, managing brewer and owner, Garrett Hickey. I thought it would be Mr. Streetside. He's got kind of a um, Blake Shelton thing going on. He definitely does. Yeah. Jason could take him in a fight. Yeah. I wonder if they if they speak. Because, you know, there's like a Dayton oh, yeah. like brewers meeting. Uh but I don't know if Cincinnati is involved in that at all. Should we start a new segment? Could Jason Could take Jason. them in a fight? Yes. Okay, so in this one, in this we're, one? we're just starting it up. Jason could take the... Garrett Hickey. Garrett Hickey yeah. of Streetside in a fight. In a fight. I think he could take him. Yeah. Would he? Probably not. No, no. He'd probably get along great. great. Oh, yeah. They, they probably... But hypothetically, if it came to fisticuffs, if two must enter and one must leave, my, my money's on Jason. They have all a lot of people in here in front of the same sticker wall, which is kind of cool. Oh, what about this guy? Martin Frenchy French, the sales manager. Oh, that's <laughs> that, a thick dude. He's, uh, he's definitely... He's, he, probably he's probably about 5'7", but he he's 5'7". He's around. pretty big, man. Yeah, he's, he's girthy. A, he's a big dude. He's a big dude. All right, so that's that's Will Jason. That's our new segment, Will Jason. Can Jason take this guy? Yeah, hypothetically. Not... Jason, Jason is, yeah, no, no, Jason's not a bombastic, but yeah, that's a new segment that's going to be uh, brought to you by our friends down at Crooked Handle. Yeah, he, he, he would, he would offer a, them a beer before a fist. Yeah. All right. Um, so with this beer, this is Beachside Key Lime Pie Milkshake IPA. Obviously, with a milkshake IPA, you're going to get a bunch of milk sugar, uh, but this one is also an IPA, so you have a lot of hops. And then the key lime stu- stuff, it's 7.5%, obviously a pint. And uh, it says, keep cold, drink fresh, a collaboration with Hop and Vine. So I bought this off the shelf, so it wasn't cold at Arrow. But I did keep, I did make it cold. Yeah, it's cold now. It's cold now. Beachside is our newest collaboration that we brewed with our great friends over at Hop and Vines. This Key Lime Pie Milkshake IPA was brewed to celebrate the good days spent on the beach, enjoying a cold one with friends and family. Hopped exclusively with Citra, bright citrus complements the decadent vanilla and delightful graham cracker. <clears throat> we hope you take Beachside with you on all your summer adventures. Accentuate your burps because those are Jacob. Jacob turn, tunes in for the burps. Okay, okay I'll, I'll make them louder. And, I gotta and, put more I, voice behind. I it. was looking at Jacob's. He has like burp compilations. Really? Yeah, it's, like on it's his a, page. It's amazing. Oh yeah, like there's he's, burp he's a content. Yeah, there's he's a he's a content guru. Well, patch together some of our best burps. Oh yeah, get that, us that's why I'm like trying to generate because I feel like I'm tapering off. We'll, maybe that'll boost us, maybe and then that, we'll boost that you, it. and it'll just be like this YouTube partnership, just a, just a, a, a boosting circle. Mm-hmm. A boosting circle. Um, what are your thoughts? So, 
man, this is not at all what I expected. This, um, off the top rope, this tastes like, uh, I, I get pine. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how close pine and key lime are related. <laughs> Almost Ooh. not at all. Chunky. Uh, sorry, Stacy. Um, man. This is odd. I don't get the graham cracker. I don't get anything that... Ugh. You know, I should close the door. I didn't realize there's some pot <laughs> more. What a jerk. Um, it kind of goes with the beer. It's a summer beer. Yeah. I've, summer lawnmowers going on. I'm at a loss. I... <sighs> And it's got, the unfortunate thing is it's got my favorite hops. I'm a Citra guy. I'm a Galaxy guy. Um, it's definitely a Huipa and not a Niepa. Um, off the top rope, 3.25. It's just too piney. It's like tasting mm -hmm. just an old-fashioned air car freshener, mm -hmm. like liquidized. I can see that. And, you know, and I don't mean to take, like, your, you know, your, uh, what household random item does this taste like? Because that's a JT trademark. Oh, I got that covered. Got that covered. All right, here's the can art for all of you. Go to minute 26, 15. Uh, well, 26, minute 26, second 15. And normally I, you know, we always thank each other for bringing beer. You know, thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Not today. Not all on right. this one. That's okay. <laughs> um, so for this is the Can Art segment brought to you by Steph. Steph. Uh, I bought this can because of the Can Art and because of the Key Lime Pie Milkshake IPA thing. So I wanted I wanted something more complicated than normal. You know, I'm looking at sours, I'm looking at IPAs, but I wanted something that's like um, an amalgamation. Yeah, kind of, kind of um, something we haven't had, some sort of combination we haven't had on the show. And the I'm excited for summer, though I will admit, last week when we had a little bit of hotter temperatures, and we were in the 80s last week, I was like, oh man, it's hot as hell. This is ridiculous. And when it dropped back down into the 60s, I was really, really happy. <clears throat> but I am excited for summer. I love summer. Summer's a great season. Um, obviously, spring and summer are the best, but I believe we're losing spring in Ohio. It no longer exists. What's Okay, <clears throat> no, go back, because uh, I was trying to document this beer. What's your favorite season? It would have to be spring. Oh, wow. I like fall. I'm a fall guy. You like fall? I like fall too. It's number two. But spring, you're coming out of winter. And it's getting warmer. So I love when you're coming weather. out of winter, I love hoodie weather, weather too. But when you're coming out of winter, 60 feels so much better than when you're coming out of summer, 60 feels a little chilly. So I like when 60 feels warm. Put some shorts on. Shorts and a hoodie, that's a good combo right there. Yeah. Yeah. When I came home from Cuba, it I remember the first week I got back, it was in the 70s here in Ohio, and I could not stop shivering. It was so freaking cold. Your body had already adjusted. Yeah. So I didn't... I, so I prefer to come out of winter than um, be going into winter through the fall. So yeah, that's my favorite season, spring. Um, so there's a lizard chilling on a beach chair and he is, he's drinking a beer. He, there's some limes around him. This is a white sand beach. There's a picket fence for some reason. Uh, he's got an umbrella that is shading him. There's a, um, a for sale sign on the beach right there. I'm not Sorry, uh, sure. So it says for sale sold. There's a sold sticker on it. Beachside. I guess that's because like beachside property. It's kind of unclear about the whole for sale sign, how that works into the art. But this lizard, he seems pretty chill for having sold his property, his beachside property. Um, and that's really it. He's wearing flip-flops, which is cool. I wear flip-flops to the beach. Um, not sure if, uh, if anyone else does. I'm sure everyone does. And that's it. That's the can art. There's not much else to it. That's the can art bonus segment brought to you by Steph. The beer itself, here's the, uh, here's the just pine all the way. And so, okay, I'm not, I'm not off on the pine. We agree on a flavor profile. Yeah, definitely. On, on a foreign flavor Something profile. not key lime. The, okay. And here's why. Uh, when, and I don't know why I have this memory. It's pine on the note. Like. Is it? Yeah. Well, I don't know why I have this memory, but when I was a kid... Um, we used to go to Chicago. My grandma lived in Chicago. My mom's mom. 
uh, all the time. We, uh, probably every weekend. I can't remember how what the Chuggalo what grandma. the regularity was. Yeah. Um, but we one time went to Dairy Queen. I'm not sure why I have this memory. I don't even think we went to, to Dairy Queen very often. But it it was just at the time that the people had cleaned the inside of the Dairy Queen. And the floor was mopped with pine saw. And the pine saw was so strong they didn't dilute it. I think they just mopped with pine saw. It was so strong that we couldn't even stand inside there. So like my mom had to go in and order for everybody and then come out and then wait for the food. It was crazy. Or the ice cream. And that's what this tastes like. Like, I remember the smell of that Dairy Queen. It was all this beer. So household cleaning items. Pine saw. This is 100% pine saw. I think that what's happening is the key lime... Wow, we agree. I think that the key lime um, attributes did what they're supposed to do. And I think that the Milkshake IPA did what it's supposed to do. But together, they... The gastro, uh, molecularly, gastronomically, fucked each other up. And that did not turn out to be the beer I think they thought they were making. Um, it just didn't go well. I actually am not as polite to this beer as Matt. I, I would never choose to drink this beer again. I'm giving it a 275. Because it's, I can drink it till the end, but I'm really struggling to. It's not a pour. It's a two seven five. That's where I'm at. It's, I, it's not often. We've done 141 of these. This is 142. 142. It's not often that we pick the same foreign property. Mm-hmm. For a beer, so yeah. that that on itself is remarkable. It's I was surprised when you said pine because my first thought was pine salt, and the, it, it was the nose. Like I didn't want mm-hmm. to like upset, and that's why I I always I always treat the game with respect. That's why I always want to write down my score first, mm-hmm. especially when it's uh, uh, not my beer, and I'm gonna have to be going first. This is a mystery cooler of beer, of death beer. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yep. Because it's so random and like it's it not is. like a pills or an ale or something like that. It's gonna it's gonna it linger. It's gonna keep you off kilter. Yeah. This the seven the seven five is kind of outside of the you know the realm of what you want in a, a, a mystery cooler. Yeah. But in the vein of being like a what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so in that I was very generous on the three two four five mm-hmm. because that's not really a mystery cooler beer that's a beer that's missed yeah i just feel like this would be a good change of pace this is like you're riding down the street with your mountain bike and you're you know cruising and then you just jam it into the like the lowest gear and you're like you know just <laughs> lethargy sets in yeah um i can't relate to whatever that you just said but uh you didn't have a mountain bike growing up yeah i know what you're saying I don't. I can't relate it to this beer. Oh, okay. Like it's. Uh, gosh, this would really fuck you up in a mystery cooler of death. Yeah. Not. Not. I mean, the alcohol, yes, but the flavor. I can't imagine like if I had some had just had something else. Yeah, like a Kinslager to this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that transition would be like. But what about a good IPA to this? I oh, mean, it's still this... gonna be like you know. So like it, you know, a truth. Um, oh, funny story on that uh, dissection. So my father-in-law brought me a bunch of beer again. This I, I love when my father-in-law just goes. Uh, he brought me some Rheingeist knowledge. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> and from Wisconsin. Yeah, from Wisconsin. Nice. So I uh, I was laughing when I brought it down here to the church room bar, and I I told my mother-in-law to come hither, and she goes, "What's so funny?" And I go, "You know this beer that you guys brought from Wisconsin." She goes, "Yeah." I go. It's brewed like thirty minutes from here, mm-hmm. but you guys brought it. Like the like, well, not knowledge, but but Ryan. And I love no, I love knowledge. Yeah, knowledge she goes, is oh, great. We're so, I go. This is fantastic. I go. I know it's he's just. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Yeah, like Ryan Geist. If you come to uh, Southwest Ohio, it's Ryan Geist. Yeah, that's 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 here, and then everything else follows. Not that it, not we're saying that it's better. It's not no, it's not about not being bad. better. It's just that like reputation wise, Ryan Geist. 
is the Cincinnati Brewery. Yeah, it's like if you Eau Claire, it's Brewing Project. If you go to you know Northeast uh, Iowa, it's Toppling Goliath. Everyone has their like hallmark, and all breweries are rated against it. You know. Well, this is gonna be quite the show. Okay, so I have another beer. If you don't want to go full ten on this next one, we can save this for the following week. This is a ten percent. Yeah, I have another beer though. I did bring another one. So, I mean, I'm I'm fine. Do you not want to? I'm debating it. I'm okay. Debating yeah. It. So Thank you me. were looking for to me to make me the scapegoat. Uh, no, not the, well. Yeah, a little bit the scapegoat. That's, also, that's fine. Man, this beer just looks so. I didn't good. know it was ten percent. Yeah, I didn't either until just now. Uh, let me see what this other one is. I, I honestly didn't look at it. I, I, it's I been have, in our fridge. This I is have a, a baseball camp to coach after this. This is a Chuggalo Stev beer yeah. that he left, and we decided because he gifted on to us a couple of beers. I gifted on to Chuggalo Stev a bunch of beer, and then last week he took. Jesus. Magic cards and then forgot the beer. Well, let's do, this is no better, but it's smaller, so let's do that. We'll save this one. Okay. All right, here you go. This one, and I think it'll be a conversation because it's from Wisconsin. Yeah, well, Central Waters, uh, I'm, I, I wish I was wearing my, uh, wish wish Wisconsin, were. my Wisconsin, brewed in Wisconsin shirt. So you just brought you just brought the booze apparently. Yeah, I guess I didn't even look at the. What's this guy? Jesus. On this one, nine point two five. So hey, but it's kids, just go out there and run laps. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm Coach John yeah, Denver. Swing early. That's what I say. Coach John Denver. Swing early, yeah. Swing early, swing often. All right, this is Central Waters Brewing Company. Did you kill? Tropical Bobby. face punch. It's not often that. It's I hard. Do. It was hard to do. I usually usually I'm the hammer. Because I finished it, it gets over a 2.5, but it was not easy to finish. 2.5 is where I start pouring shit out. Uh, yeah, that's a rough beer. This is a fruited New England style IPA. And it is... It, it drew my attention for a few reasons. It's from Wisconsin. Yeah, buddy. And it's fruited. Central Waters is very lauded. It is. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, they have it at Arrow now. I, I've never seen this brewery... At this specific arrow before, and they had about three different beers from them. Yep. So if you're this is not one I'm familiar. If you're in with, Ohio uh, and you can't find them, have you been? Have you found them here before? Central or Waters. Is this a new thing. Yes. Um, they've got. Um, I've got some Central Waters in the uh, cellar right now. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know what it is. I did want to give one more out shout to Hall's Corner. Uh, he expanded. He put another beer aisle in. Dude, that place is almost all craft beer now. So it's so crazy. I walked in there without my mask, and I'm stealing your outro. I apologize. It's okay. I walked, no, no, I want to talk about it. I walked in there without my mask, and he goes, uh, "Matt, it's finally nice to see your face." Because I'd nice only start. been going there since since COVID, really. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I bought some Miller Lite, and then he gave me some shit, and he goes. <laughs> All of the things that you buy in here, and I go, my father-in-law's coming to town. He goes, oh, you know, from Wisconsin. I go, yeah. And I go, this is going to be a terrible exchange. He's going to bring all this good beer, and I go, I'm bringing him Miller Lite. Yeah, but that's what he wants. Yeah. You know, sometimes that's that's the only gift you need. Uh, yeah, he has expanded the craft beer. So I went, I thought, this is all. I, there's one beer I didn't bring that I really wanted to bring. It was a suggestion from Chuggalo Jeff. This is the Dr. beer that we, ta- we talked about, a little pre- Pre-podcast this uh, um, weekend. And I wanted to get this beer. I looked everywhere for this fucking thing. And he said he got it at Kroger. So I'm thinking I'd just go anywhere and find this thing. Well, it's nowhere. And so I went to Hall's. They didn't have it. And you know what? Did you ask Pat? He took my fucking order. Yeah. And he's going to have it by today or tomorrow. I was hoping he'd have it by today, obviously. Because I I pass it coming here. Most of his deliveries come in Tuesday in the morning. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't call me. Um, Oh, and he was going to call you? He said he'll call me. Okay. Yeah. So, so didn't call. Um, it's fantastic. So some of the smaller guys show up Wednesday. So it depends on what the beer is and how they distribute. So most of it's Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, and sometimes Wednesday. Okay. Well, I think I think it'll be there by tomorrow. Um, so this isn't it. But I just wanted to give that out shot that he was just like, if you only want one six pack or one four pack, that's fine. I'm gonna order a bunch and just put it on the shelves. I was like, you're the fucking man. It, it, like, it, this is amazing. It is. Like, I told them, like, I drink uh, Lighthearted. And I hadn't been there in a long time because when I traveled back 
um, to Minnesota and uh, uh, Michigan. So I brought a bunch of beer back and then my in-laws brought. But now that I have my bar back, um, it's just, it's fantastic. So I always mm-hmm. try to reciprocate and, you know, support businesses that do that. Just Yeah. It's, I wish, cause I would pay. I wish that time. place had more fanfare. fanfare. Yeah. Yep. It's Cheers. just so uh, unknown and it needs to be more known cause it's awesome. They're so accommodating and it's got a drive through. Yeah. Which is awesome. Um, drive through doesn't do well tickets. for a good, like us. Because Not for us. I want to look. look. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to look, but, but it's good for people who know what they want. Yeah. And when you go get your Miller Light, my 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 problem is when I walk in there, I spend so much. Fucking yeah, money. yeah. This last week was eighty bucks, and that was a light trip. Yeah, it's tough when it's you know. He knows. Oh yeah, he he's he's smart. He gets it. He's in the business of making money, and I'm glad he makes my money. Yep, same. All right, let's crack this open. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I was nervous because I didn't pre. Oh pre-pop. yeah, I went I went quick. I went quick. No nose. Central Waters Brewing Company. So what's on the can is grapefruit, pineapple, cherry, and orange. So I'm guessing kind of like a citrus, um, but with maybe some sort of like deeper, darker um, flavors. It says on the can, crack open this juice-packed India Pale Ale and soak in the sun. Double dry hopped with trident hops and bursting with cherries, pineapple, grapefruit, and tangerines. Trident hops? Yes, Trident Hops, Navy Seal Hops. I've never heard of Trident Hops. That's a that's a first for me. Trident, brewed and canned in Amherst, Wisconsin. Where's Amherst? Fox, it, there's a star on here. But. Fox River Valley. So the Fox eastern River part Valley. of the state, um, just southwest of um, Appleton, Green Bay, over on the eastern uh, part of the state. East Central. That's east what Central. I'm seeing on the map here. By uh, Lake Winnebago. Lake Winnebago. Is the Winnebago Company uh, headquartered there? Winnebago Company. You know, um, yes. They make Winnebagos, you know. Oh. Like, there's a, like we we say Winnebago kind of like we say Coke for, not we, in Ohio we don't say that. Yeah. And in Illinois we don't say that. But some people say Coke for all soda. People say Winnebago for all. Campers. Campers. So but there is a Winnebago company. There is a Winnebago company. They might be, um, but I would just be bullshitting you. Like cool o- Oshkosh, like the big armored company in Oshkosh Bagosh is, and Oshkosh, this is in the Oshkosh. same And they realm. make kids clothes. Yeah, Oshkosh, and mm-hmm. then um, all the up armored vehicles were coming from Osh, Oshkosh. Asp batons, like the... Um, the retract- cop batons? Yeah. Yeah. They have that patented, and they're made from this same area of the state, too. No That's way. patented. It's made in one place. There's so much that, going on in Wisconsin. Yeah. I had no just idea. Just so much. I had no idea. Uh, All of these fruit, let me check again. I know you. Cherries, pineapple, grapefruit, and tangerines. Mm-hmm. Only one of those is grown in Wisconsin. Oh. Which one? Cherries, pineapple, grapefruit, or tangerines? Um, cherries. Cherries, yep, up in Door County. Door County. Door County is the third of that. Inventors of the Door Prize. <laughs> <laughs> Science. <laughs> yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, I got this because of the cherries. Not going to lie about it. I wanted an IPA with cherries. Were you going for, were you hoping that this would be like a Hawaiian punch? Mm, no. Where it's just like a. Pow! Like the Hawaiian punch. I was punch hoping is the fruit pow. would punch you a little more, but uh, no, not Hawaiian punch per se. Um, you have all these fruits, and my, it's it's my, hard to get the cherry to kind of like uh, be at the forefront. Yeah, be at the forefront. So we talk about cranberry juice on the on the show all the time. <sighs> I love cranberry juice on its own, but I also do like the Ocean Spray variations. They have the pineapple. Cranberry juice and the cherry cranberry juice. Love them both, but I will say that the pineapple cranberry juice is far more identifiable than the cherry cran- uh, well, cranberry cherry juice. Well, cherry and the cherry cranberries... cherry just doesn't stick out. Cherry and cranberry are... You're doubling down on the same... You are, on the on the berry. Where a pineapple, you're going with like that That's citrus. True. That's true. That, that profile. But the same, with the same base, you think, okay, I can, I can pick this out. Yeah. 
but you can't. I just had to, uh, my mother-in-law was much dismayed this last weekend because she's a big cranberry juice fan, so we have to fight. And I didn't, you don't I didn't have keep, to fight. There's plenty of cranberry. I, I didn't, I didn't keep it world. in the house, so I, I went out to the store immediately mm-hmm. and I got her some uh, cranberry juice and some caffeine-free Diet Pepsi. Because we have all the Diet Pepsi in the world, we don't have any caffeine-free. Uh, I never I thought that this would happen. We're not. We're 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 a Pepsi house. We're not a Coke house. Yeah, same here. We we are a Pepsi house as well. Um, I never I never thought that would be the case. But Pepsi is better. And Mountain Dew. God. Don't I, Mountain Dew, leaded, leaded Coke is better than leaded Pepsi. Yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't offer a, an opinion on that. You haven't had a leaded Pepsi or a leaded Coke? I mean I have, but I don't I couldn't tell you what I don't when like I think how about Pepsi them. leaves a film on my teeth. Like leaded. Okay. Diet diet clears that up. But anyways. In in our family we've stopped drinking pop out of a can. So we treat ourselves occasionally yeah. to a fountain drink at Circle K. Are the boys still drinking energy drinks? If you're not drinks? familiar, they don't drink energy They were drinking that like Mountain Dew stuff, which is like Mountain Dew, um, I can't remember. It's like a, it's a tall can. Yeah. But it's not really energy. Interesting. Um, but we got the Summer Pass at Circle K. If you're unfamiliar with the Summer Pass... It's basically each month you pay six dollars or something per yeah. person, and you get unlimited fountain drinks all summer. Well, each month. Um, but I think they stop in August, and then they start up again in May. So the the crazy thing with that, so a box of syrup when I worked at Taco Bell, mm-hmm. and it makes about a thousand gallons of pop. Yeah. A box of syrup was eleven dollars. Yeah, I've heard this. I've heard this breakdown before. The amount of money that McDonald's McDonald's makes more money on their sodas than anything else. Well, so McDonald's isn't in the burger business; they're in the real estate business. Mm, Think I've of their that locations. Too. Yeah. yeah. So that that, that, that that's where the real value is in the company. Off the top rope, <clears throat> Central Waters Brewing Company, Tropical Face Punch. God, I okay. So when it says fruited New England, I'm expecting more. So like when in JT will get up and do the canner boner segment mm-hmm. because there's there's value here to talk about. Um, it's weird. I wish the fist. You know, I don't want to talk about the art too much. I just brought out the talk koozie it. because it looks like this. Yeah, yeah. Not it's like this. A little this. angled. Um, off the top rope. Uh, sorry, Jacob. I thought uh, this would be a more of a burp-heavy episode. I'm gonna. Um, they're they're organic. Um, if you listen, uh, God, this is so muted. I don't know if it's the key lime pine that has uh, destroyed my palate. Which, but you're still trying to be an IPA. Off the top rope, 375. It's just, I see those fruits. They're there. They're very muted. It's obviously an IPA. I would have no issues about picking that out. I just don't know. I might need to have this beer on a clean palate. Yeah, maybe. I, it's possible the key lime fucked us up. Yeah, which which, which I said going into it. I was like, yeah, we've did. had this you before. Did. Um. So they're really big on the environment at Central Waters. Um, they have a whole page about sustainability, which is cool. They have four large solar arrays. I love it. That one is a thousand square foot solar thermal, which is hot water array. This this system provides hot water to heat our twelve thousand. 500 square foot facility and also provides preheated water to our brew house. So every beer we make is brewed using solar heated water. So you're getting sun heated water in this beer. Would you taste it? I I want solar so bad. Yeah. Um, (coughs) My wife's dad has it. So you're it's very expensive. My father-in-law. Yeah, your father-in-law. Your Phil. Uh, he's uh, he, it's it's expensive, but in California they it's almost mandatory now, 
where he lives. Good. Um, so that for his house, I guess he needed like 36, but he got 20. Kilowatts? Because or? of how, no, 20 um, panels. Panels, yeah. And it was very expensive. I don't remember what he told me. Our, our solar score is so good here. You have a bunch of really beautiful old growth trees. Do you know your solar score? Like, would they mm-hmm. be viable? Because you're very vertical. Yeah. We're a lot horizontal. I, I, I want them. We're doing so many other projects. I want solar so bad. I love gadgets. Yeah, do it. I love, it's just, when when uh, when I win the million dollar COVID, mm-hmm. Um, they're going to call, so if I just step out, it's probably going to happen today. Um, probably. We're going solar. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. The Vaximillion. Vaximillion. Yeah. I thought about it. I want to win, but I also don't want to win because of how much publicity the first winner got. I don't want that kind of publicity. I want to win the lottery in Ohio because Ohio is an anonymous state. Like, you, you don't have to... Claim it with your name or whatever. Right, but with the vax. But with the vax, you have to. Yeah. And so they're going to be like, oh, that's where they give you this guy. They give you Matt. They give you the forty-eight hours. Not worth it. They give you the forty-eight hours to get your legal shit. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah. So they draw it Monday. All right. You're notified Monday night. They announce it Wednesday. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's going to be a mess. If someone who is. Ha- is perceived as successful. Yeah. Wins that. It's going to be like, oh shit. It should have went to somebody who is less fortunate. Anyway. I'm paying off my house immediately. I know that's Yeah, dumb. that's the, that know, would be the first thing. You would do that? You're smart. You're smart with money. Yeah. Paying off your mortgage? Are you kidding me? All Instead of investing at all. Oh, that's an investment. Houses are investments. It's one but of the so rare like your cases mortgage where is you what, purchase you know, something two, and it two, grows. Two and a half percent. Where like ev- everyone else is like, oh, you got to invest it. You, I go, I hate debt. I am so... Yeah. Well, I, I, nah. I would go debt free overnight and then yeah. the wife can buy whatever you, you can. You can, um, you, can rec- you can put in to the stock market your mortgage every month. Yeah, that, and if that's, you don't that's quit what your thinking. job, I mean, you pay off your mortgage first because the interest, even at two and a half percent, I mean, you're paying God, so much fucking money, hundred thousand dollars, right? Over the course of thirty years, you're gonna pay so much money. It's ridiculous how much money we pay, and it's all up front. They totally fuck you on that. It's all up front. You don't get to choose. Um, it'd be way better if you could. If it was evenly split over all your payments, but it's not. So anyway, yeah, I would pay off my mortgage for sure. And then each mortgage pay, each uh, paycheck I get after that would be a mortgage payment worth of stock investments. Anyway, it's fun to think about. That's yeah. why that's why I buy lottery tickets from time to time. I like that euphoria of thinking. Yeah, I this could change. I've got, I do it when it's crazy. Yep, um, but not not typically. So that is Central Waters. They're sustainable. They like the sun. They use the sun in their beer. Uh, And that's that. So you're good. I'm good. All right. So this 9.25% beer has some can art. There it is. I'm spinning it fast. Here, I'll spin it slow. I'll, I'll sit on the words for a second. 53 minutes and 39 seconds. Killing it. Almost at an hour already. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. You've seen it. And if you thought that was too fast, well, you can't go any slower. It's just impossible. So this is the Canard Boner segment brought to you by Stev. This, there's a fist. Like we said, it's kind of doing like a, I don't know, like a knock maybe. Oh, yeah. It's maybe pre-knock. Knock. It's pre-knock. Um, tropical face punch, got the nice block letters, and it's got a ray of green and yellow sunshine behind it, <clears throat> with some fruit, pineapple, grapefruit, tangerine, cherry. Um, other than that, I mean, it's not much going on. It's it's the fist. Now I'm wondering if the fist had to be like that because you don't want to infringe on Fist City. Uh, oh, good you know, point. Fringe on another brewer. Uh, Fish City out of Chicago. 
and you know Wisconsin and Illinois. Yeah, we'll go to like, war with Fibs. They're like both enemies, but also comrades. If 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 the West Coast is attacking, we're together. We take arms together. But if it's us versus them, well, then it's it's we're enemies. We're <laughs> dumping grounds in Wisconsin for the trolls of the earth. <clears throat> oh God, there, Jacob, it's coming. I can feel it's it. It's coming. Sorry, Stacy. Flavor-wise, well, that's the Canard Bonus segment brought to you by Stev. This um, Trident Hop. Never heard of it. Yeah. It's awesome. I I like exploring It's, it's hops. dry. Drier. Um, I think you would have... You would have done better with a like a citra hop. Give give me something that doesn't like. I mean, these hops are unless that's the grapefruit that's just peeking through and and kind of bittering everything up. Like the rind, not the yeah, maybe the not rind. not the fruit or the pulp, but the rind. The trident hops. I if, if I'm if I'm guessing, it's it's totally drying out this beer. And this beer should be juicy as hell. I mean, it, I should be salivating from this beer. Like Hawaiian because Punch. How That's why much, I brought up Hawaiian Punch. I don't know. Hawaiian Punch is so sugary. Well, like, but take that away. I'm you thinking know, like Dole. Dole Like juices. the can shit? Yeah, the can That's shit. how you know where you were poor folk, by the way. Your juice came in a, a <laughs> can, government can. You had can. To like, yeah, yeah, you had to get out the little old, arm motion. The, the old church key. The old church key. Yeah, the church key. Chuggle Mom's laughing right now. She knows the church key. She knows key. the church yeah, key. Yeah, the Dole um, can. Dole can that you couldn't close up. It just no, got you have stuck to put saran wrap over it. Oh yeah, okay. We rubber band the saran wrap down so it doesn't get air in it. Because God forbid your juice has air in yeah. it. Yeah, and then, oxidize. Um, not the good mac and cheese. Not the shells. The regular craft mac and cheese. The elbow. The elbows. Um, powder. Hannah, Hannah and Brinley will only eat the little cups. They won't eat. Oh, like eat the, the shells. They and didn't cheese. have that when we were kids. Yeah. The, the microwavable Yeah, so Easy if it doesn't... Or I bet one. I could buy the blue box. You know the blue box. Yeah. And make it... And they wouldn't... Because it's not in that microwave. Mm-hmm. Just last night, you know, we let the daughter... You know, because I made um, tendies for uh, the in-laws. One one girl... Tendies? Wants, yeah. Chicken tenders? No, tenderloin. Oh, tenderloin. Beef tenderloin. I was like, man, uh, you're... By the way, they have Wagyu your... steak at Kroger now. Oh, uh, no shit? Yeah. One daughter wanted SpaghettiOs. One wanted... Mac and cheese, but they're the microwavable cups. Yeah, that's Love it. great. No, oh, that's have to perfect. Worry about them. Yeah, they didn't have that when we were kids. No, and back then, hamburger helper. I, I don't think we knew as much about like over serving children as we do now. Yeah, and so sometimes the requirement to do something like go out was to eat lunch. Yeah, like eat, finish your lunch, and you can go play. Like that. That was the nineties. You just you said finish, clean, finish clean play club. I would eat that. Mac and cheese whole. I would just swallow it whole, and I've I I believe there was at least one time where I threw it up on the kitchen floor as whole mac and cheese, unchewed. Oh all yeah! All I yeah, wanted just, to do was get outside. Yeah, but the requirement was I had to eat. So yeah, I'm sure Chuggalo Mom can chime in with uh, yeah any of those where she was force instances. feeding you. Yeah. But that's it. Wasn't just her. Hearing. It's not. This isn't said to oh, make you feel bad. Chuggalo and all all people were force feeding their kids back then. Yeah, it was the whole clean your plate movement. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. Now we know more about just let your kids eat until they're full. Yeah, they'll, oh, they'll yeah. tell you if they like the food. They'll tell you if my, they hate the food. They're full right away. My 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 kids won't eat so. They're at that age. Yeah. Yeah. My they, youngest nothing is we like make. That. So tonight's going to be a home run because both of them love brats. Oh, good. That's Wisconsin. I had brats that's, the other day. That's Wisconsin babies. Um, uh, vegetables are another, you know, because one likes one vegetable, one likes the other. So it's mm. my, my daughter has been asking for corn. So I made like a corn medley and she goes, no, corn. Like she wants corn on the cob. Oh, and wow. It, on the and cob. She, she will eat three, three cobs. Wow. Her, her shit comes out the next day. It's yeah, just it's all corn. corn. Yeah, it's just another corn cob. Because you, you, don't, you don't process that. But yeah. uh, the other one likes carrots. Yeah, I like One both. likes peas, one likes green beans. Oh, wow. So it's versa visa. Man. Well. A lot of the inner workings today figure on it the, uh, the figure BCP. It oh, yeah. yeah. 
you need just, a, you need a, you need to rip a score on this, but I know I'm I'm just I'm it's really a torn can. about it because I feel like the hops were chosen poorly. But other than that, the beer's pretty good. Um, I can taste all the fruit. Bullshit. Tangerine. Yeah, I can taste it. There's a citrusiness, and and maybe it's it's not separating itself from the grapefruit, but it's there. I can taste it all. There's a, there's just a ling a little cherry at the end. You gotta you gotta let it hit the back of your throat. Yeah, you the do. The pineapple is there. Yeah, you do. The grapefruit hit the back of your throat. And the uh, the tangerines there. But I think this hop selection is too much. It's not a desirable beer. And it is really high. I mean, 9.25, that's pretty high. You, It hides the booze. Yeah, it hides the booze. But it, I think, I think, uh, it's, I, I don't know. I think maybe that bitterness is partially showing itself from the alcohol. I don't know. Uh, 325. I just can't, I can't come up with a... A better score than that. I feel like uh, this was a, an explorative miss week for us. Yeah, a little bit. Which is uh, which is fine. You know, it's like... Not all beards are great. No. I, I'm i glad you said that. It's like boobs. I want to see them it's all. It's like boobs. Yeah. But you appreciate the good ones. But sometimes there's a pair that you're like, mm-mm, yeah. not into and it. And we just... Yeah, we had two Let's that Let's move were, on. We had two that were... Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. It happens. So that is Central Waters. I originally intended on bringing this beer as the third beer, but there's no way. You wanted to do three beers. I that thought been that ambitious. the beers that we had planned weren't going to be this yeah. high. So as you can see in the fridge now, I'm starting to stock up. I'm yeah, I'm good yeah. Your fridge now, is now, getting now, good now. Now it's uh, fridge is getting good. Um, my uh, father-in-law helped out, and I uh, made some purchases. But yeah. uh, well, I don't have a segment three. No, it's a it, it's all organic. It is it is all organic. I uh, um, and we talked we we kind of you know talked about like the the beer antiques and you know what mm-hmm. what what you want to have in your bar because we're at that point in life right now. We're in our late thirties. Mm-hmm. Um. Where everyone's generating, we're we're in the, I think we're in still the acquisition part of our lives, mm-hmm. where 15 years from now we won't be in the acquisition. We'll be in the sure. Where like my in laws were about five six years ago, where they were giving us stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I'm still in the acquisition. But now I'm kind of running out of room. Um, but like you know, uh, Chuglo Doctor Um who's looking for ideas and stuff for his bar. Yeah. You have a bar that's massive it's and coming. it's going to be up and coming. Yep. So that's where I'm like, get out and, you know, kind of save some of these beer, you know, bar type, you know, and make, make your own space, make it yours. That's just, yeah. you know, that's why this, this room really smells like that cedar right now. It's fantastic. It does. It it's, does. And I just brought Very it strong. in, you know, 20 minutes before you got here. So, wow. Um, have so stuff, that's gonna have go stuff with characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna go right here. So the you know once I get the legs, I'm gonna set you know saddle that up, and it's gonna be good to go. But so maybe the podcast gets filmed at this angle. We totally could because then, and then be we're like, like a newscast. Uh, us us sit next to each other because yeah. now we've got a Cheers vibe. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd be. Uh, would you be a Ratzenberger or a Went? I'm gonna. Mm. You're younger. You're younger. Do you know, know the why difference? Why do I have to be those two guys? Yeah. Well, one's the postman. Yep. Which one was the post postman? That was uh, Wentz. No. Ratzenberger. Rat. You. Oh, it was George. He's the Wentz. fucking fat guy. From, Rat. Rat. He plays a potato in Toy Story. Uh, yeah, Mr. Potato. He's in all the Pixar movies. I'm glad you said potato. You say by the way. Um, he's not in all the. There is a actor though that's in all the um, I thought Pixar it was him. movies. No. Oh. Did you watch um, uh, Face Up? Uh, um, <laughs> wow, Serenity or yeah. never heard of it. 
Um, Firefly. Firefly, like the sh- show with the guy from Dawson's Creek? What guy from Dawson's Creek was Josh, in Firefly? Uh, something. No. So Firefly, the whole um, um, Wash, the pilot, is in has voiced every Pixar movie. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, yeah, George Went. George I, Went. I would say not. that's not the guy. George, I would say I'm more of the curmudgeon. No, he's the big guy. He's the big guy. What was, yeah. he was I would say I'm more of the just a, I, I would say I'm more of the curmudgeon. So you'd be the John Ra- you'd be the mailman. Mm-hmm. And I'm more the George Went. You're the, yeah, okay. I knew who I was talking about, but I'd mixed them up. Yeah. 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 Um That's a blast from the past right there. I guess so. I guess so. Um I like to think I'm more of a Ted Danson. Maybe It'd a be Woody the bartender. Harrelson. Maybe a Woody Harrelson. It'd be the bartender. No. Cleaning glasses. You were the old guy that just last lasted two seasons. I don't even know his name. Uh me neither. Uh no, you you know you are the Kelsey Grammer, the guy that went from Cheers and then had 17 years as Frasier, mm-hmm. and now they're talking about bringing Frasier back. That's me. Same. They're talking about character. bringing me back. Same character. You didn't hear? Coming back. They're bringing me back. That's me. Yeah, I could, I could see myself being a Frasier, but I I mean, what were the they they called it the intelligent comedy. What was so intelligent about it, other than he had like an AM radio show? It was before our time. I, I am aware of Cheers. I can obviously recall the actors. Um, yeah. You know, my friends are going to laugh on this because of the fact that I just have a obscene memory for nothing that will ever do me any service in life. Except create contact for or, um, content for the BCP. Yeah. Well, any any bar in current day... Where everyone knows your name is not a bar of any sort of like prestige or class. I can't remember the last bar I was in past five o'clock. Wow. Uh, well, I've been to King's Table past five o'clock, but yeah, I, I would agree. Re- in the last year? It's hard to say. Probably not. The last bar I went to late was. The day that the NBA shut down. Randy Orton and I went to a bar on Schroyer. Schroyer Inn? Not the Schroyer Inn. It's the other one. The Schroyer Out? Yeah. The Schroyer Out. Um, it's like that secret bar. Didn't we talk about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the side of the brick building. Yeah, brick building. Dog, dog washing place in the front. Bar in the back. Yeah. Uh, and and that was the last time I was at a bar like past ten. Oh fuck, past ten. It's been years. Yeah, and that, and after that, they shut the world down. Years. Probably. It wasn't last year. Not twenty twenty. It would have been a. It would have been a fling. Up at the cabin, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. up in Danbury, Danbury, Wisconsin. So, like, population, no one, but Matt excels in the morning. <laughs> we, we, yeah, oh, yeah. I excel I, at night. I will, that's how we I differ. Will, I will, crack, in the, in I will the crack a beer. I get so much shit. I have a, I have a fling coming up here in the middle of next month, and uh, I got shit talked that, and they're talking right now. I got shit talk that um, better have some Red Bull. Mm-hmm. So last year during the fling, because we got kicked up to the cabin, so we didn't infect anyone. Mm-hmm. I got kicked up to the cabin, and I worked that day, so I was still up at four in the morning, and I made it till three the next morning. Twenty three hours, no nap, work that day. That's really good. I can do it when I put my mind to it. Yeah, yeah. You can do you it can. if you put your ass into it. That's right. That's but right. I'm. That's a one. In, yeah. The, re, the rest of the week, and I was another twelve hours. I, I could make it about to midnight. Hazy. I could make it to about midnight. That's pretty good for you. Midnight. For, for me, it's yeah massively. See, good. I'm. I'm. I like the night. You like the morning. I. I used to be that way, but now since yeah. I shifted my. Work I get my time. best work done at night. Um. Not the mornings. Mornings. It takes me a long time to wake up. Oh yeah, no, not for me. I'm. I can wake up and. And perform. 
Well, what about you, Chuggalos? Does it take you a long time to wake up? Are you a night person or a morning person? That's that's really the question we need to leave you guys with. Night All of morning. my supervisors are morning people. And I wake up to emails. And I'm like, holy shit. I'd say all the successful people in your life, but you're more successful than me. So maybe I need to be back to a, a night person again to be successful like uh, John Denver. Mm -hmm. You know what, what? Why did your why did Chuggle Mom pick your middle name as Adolf? I mean, I don't know. She just don't... really liked German Jad. Stuff. John Adolf Denver. It's kind of like um, how they say that Dorothy wasn't a name before Wizard of Oz. Adolf wasn't a bad name until World War II. I didn't even think of that. I just, I just thought it just, of your German heritage. So you know, I just thought more the John Denver. Picked, the guy died in a plane crash. Oh, the Denver part. Yeah, that's the weird part to me. Adolf. Yeah. The Adolf part. Um, um, the people I started up Budweiser. Um, Adolf. Adol oh yeah. Adol oh yeah. Adolf but that was like in the 1800s. Yeah. See, back then, everyone. So was Dorothy Adolf. wasn't a name before Wizard. From Files. what I. Uh, from how? Oh, uh, so 1939. Either, it, maybe I'm confusing this. Is either Dorothy from Wizard of Oz was was like a like a uh, a breakthrough name, or it might have been Wendy from Peter Pan. Uh, one of those I could two. See where you could get them. Mixed one up. of those two was an original name that I, was not popular I'm wrong until wrong. it was it was popularized by media. I can't remember which one. Juggalos, someone knows. This is the my mom loves the Wizard of Oz. This is the beauty of our podcast. We just spout a bunch of facts. Just facts. some of them are some true. Will verify some some of them are just yeah. like <laughs> some, <laughs> some are just you know. One of the two names is is was popular before. Some, one of them wasn't. So Wendy he, or Dorothy. Here's a fact for you: um, the actress that played Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz, yeah, Judy Garland, is the only survivor from the Hindenburg crash. Seriously. No, like that. Just, that sounds that just like sounds real. That sounds no, no. super real. Uh, I, I, because we all know about the Hindenburg crash. You know, it sounds like it's about the same time. No, the Hindenburg was like in the Judy teens. Garland. Yeah, she, her, and Lucille Ball. They just went downhill fast. Well, because smoking, right? Then that's she had uh, the, her daughter was famous. Which one? Um, uh, Lucy or Dorothy? Uh, Judy Garland had. Um, the ga the crazy gal from uh, Arrested Development. That was her daughter. Um, with Vertigo and... Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Judy Greer. No, not Judy. Judy Greer was in Jackie Brown. <laughs> um, wow, this is... this. Is... Um, yeah, I know you're talking about, though. She was in Archer. She was the, the matriarch no, in that's, Archer. You're thinking Same of, lady. You're, you're thinking of Walter. Oh, no, you're talking about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the one that about... bust her um, uh, across yeah, yeah, yeah. the hallway. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Um, God, yeah. You're great thinking of Jessica Walters. Great character yeah. because she was taken seriously before this role. That was Judy Garland's daughter. What was daughter. her name? Her name was... Um, the crazy brunette across the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Something... Jessica Walters. Like Millie Vanilli, piece, by the way. but not... Millie not Millie, Millie Vanilli. Millie. <laughs> it was like... So like many that. episodes. Something titles. like that. Something like that. Uh, that's it. I think that's it. Probably for Kill. this episode, we killed this, yeah, and it was completely completely random. And if you couldn't tell, this last beer was a nine two five. Yeah, if you are a Judy Garland fan, uh, which I was um, until until the whole smoking era, um, she got really not good after that. That's that's fine. So if you listen to this podcast and you just listen like in thirty second increments because you uh, skip forward on the <laughs> podcast app, Judy Garland's daughter is Judy Greer. That's all I no, did. Judy Greer is. I know who Judy Greer is. She's the one that was the mom in Jurassic World. That's Judy Greer. She was also an archer. But I'm. I'm. I, I know who you're talking about. It's like um, you're killing it. Something with an M. Yep. Well, I have to find out before the end of this episode. You walk slowly over there. I'm gonna find this name. It is. Um, she was like a show. Show person. <laughs> I love that. Arrested uh, development. Buster's girlfriend. Oh man, Buster's girlfriend. Arrested development. Her name was. It was. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Liza Minnelli. Yeah, that's there what. it is. Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. That sounds really Liza similar. Millie Vanilli. Liza Minnelli. A lot of vowels and M's. See ya.